max everything out. Get in that ship. I don't know where we should go. Should we save Clank or... Or go here? Mmm, let's save Clank. We gotta rescue our boy. I also very much would like to have Clank with me, because that would make a lot of my jumps better. And I would say maybe make some of those fights easier in the arena. Yo, and Daco looks sick though. Nice, nice big city. Owned by Megacorp, it seems. Is there a bolt under here? Nope. I actually didn't even mean to fall, it's just that the uh, railing didn't really protect me like it should have. I thought I saw a platform for a minute. Alright, new weapon. A couple. Pulse rifle and mini turret glove. Um, I've never been too fond of sniper rifles in Ratchet and Clank. They're good for, like, mostly specific situations where it's a good idea to snipe. Let's go mini turret gun. Mini turret gun's pretty cool. Alright, what are these cameras up here? I want to blow him up. Get him out of here. I have a lot of trouble aiming with that. Oh. Just throw this guy out, and then he can shoot a little turret. That's going to help a lot in the arenas. I don't know how long they last, but they're pretty good. I guess we have to destroy the trash cans. Uh... Wait, wait. I guess I should go that way. To center the camera, tap L1. What are you doing here, weird thing? Oh, you just shoot lasers. Uh, ooh, that looks complicated. But it looks like that has grind rails. I love grind rails. I'm gonna go get grind rails. I don't even know if we'll get the grind rail boots by going that way. I don't know how many you can drop down. Pretty decent amount. Might have been a little overkill, honestly. This gun gets a lot of use in the arenas, as you can imagine, since you don't have to worry about dropping one too prematurely, because you just have everything happening in, like, one spot. Gotta kill these Roombas. The Roombas look a lot like those electric guys in Ratchet 1. Let me get some more turrets down. Who knows what's gonna happen in this room. Good job, turrets. They really nailed it. Hello. Uh, oh. I'm gonna shoot you. Okay. Well, he's gone now. I've defeated the menace. Ow. Thought I could get the blades going. I mean, I thought I could wrench him before he got his brush blade going. Thought maybe that was a special door. I found a platinum. Nice. Like I said, I'm not worried too much about finding them at the moment. It might be a good idea, but I think it's just easy enough to worry about it when you can easily find them. More trash. More turrets being tossed. 
not in the best spots, I would say, but... Ow. Hurts faster. My friends. There's the grind rail stuff. Can't do it yet, though. And slingshot? Oh, boy. Yeah, this guy's just being a weirdo. These turrets do good general damage. Might just be because the enemies themselves are actually pretty weak. Well, guess what is going to need a bunch of turrets here? One by, like, each door. They seem to last long enough. Maybe I need to be more in the middle. Maybe I need to be proactive in the fight. Yeah, they really do good. I'm glad I bought it. Can you imagine me using a sniper rifle here? No way. Giving us a lot of ammo right now. I guess I haven't really used much else besides the turrets. Continue point. Hmm. Hey, that's that guy we saw earlier. Greetings, morons. Since my employees did such a lousy job of taking care of you, I thought I'd come and handle things myself. If you want some one kill right, you gotta do it yourself. Oh. I just let the turrets out. Why not? I think I kind of got a little too carried away there. Ah. Oh, also I think I'm damaging. Eh, he's mainly doing it himself. How's that mini nuke? It's good. He hates it? Oh, I hate it. I didn't quite realize. I think he does a lot more damage to me than one pip. I mean, I'm still gonna just dunk some turrets down. Yeah, I went, I went a little too nuts again. I got carried away. I just like the idea of having many turrets. Yeah, that did like three damage. But I'm still doing great damage with just the Blitz and some of my turret friends. I think they stayed. Oh, he's dead already. That just teleported in. I um think the turrets kind of stayed there, but I think only a certain amount of them can be active at a time, which is nice. Get translocated. I think this is our apartment. So. Hey, my old swing shot and grind. We got our grind boot and swing shots. The old ones too. Try customizing your quick select in the pause menu. So there's a uh, Jack and Daxter Easter egg in here, but we have to come back and do something with this triangle when we have a certain item. We'll uh, we'll find the Jack and Daxter thing later though. Hopefully it's still there. I don't again. I don't know why it wasn't in the menu start menu. We got some exercise equipment, fridge, and a bar. Good apartment except for no place to sleep. I don't know why the start menu wouldn't be here if this- well, I guess this is the apartment they got from Fidgewitch. Never mind. I'm an idiot. They were just living in- Swing shot target detected. Press and hold circle to shoot the swing shot. Use L- I didn't want to stop her. I think we don't have to have it equipped- Nope, we do. Damn. Eventually, we don't have to equip the swing shot. It just is always something we can do. Um something down there I guess that's just if you fail I don't remember those but I guess it's just to open that up we did it what about the um
the grind rail section? Do I have to do it? I have to start over there, so I have to go back around. I think the enemies probably spawn back in. I mean, most of them were because of trash, so maybe it won't be that big of a deal. Doesn't seem like they really spawn back in. Even though I died during the boss fight. That didn't even do anything. Over here and then through this room I think is where we have to go. To get some sick grind rails going. Yeah! I love the grind rail so much. So much fun. This is a pretty simple course. Of course, haha. Uh -huh. But, uh... It's good to just have it here. Don't know if there was a reason to still continue on that path. Ah, uh, I did that a little too late. Good stuff. And then this is probably the end. And there's a button. Put it in the slot. Excuse me? The weapon you want modified. Put it in the slot. Oh, I get it. You make weapon modifications. Yep. I can take your puny little weapon and with a few uh, tweaks. I can turn it into a powerful piece of equipment. Look, you want me to hook you up or what? I can't hang around here all day. You'll do what I say, so now we can kind of upgrade. Oh, I guess just it, things on general, in general. We got a lock-on mod. Shock mod, acid mod, lock-on mod. Might want to lock on the chopper and see if that makes that easier to use, maybe. But we got some, like, additional upgrades. I don't recall, like, what shock or acid does. Maybe extra damage? Maybe those would be better. I don't think lock-on's too important. I know I was complaining about it earlier. But I think I want to go for, like, maybe a stronger mini-nuke. Because, you know, use it in boss fights. So now we can come back here, this is what Platinum Bolts were for, is to get those kinds of upgrades. I thought maybe it was something specifically- Was that a pizza truck? Did you see that? It was the shape of a pizza. Not that one. You're not shaped like pizza. But um, I thought you had to maybe have the- there it is. Went clip through the building, but it's a pizza one. Nice. Thought maybe you had to have the weapon leveled up all the way to do it, but I suppose I am wrong. That part I didn't remember as clearly as other parts. Definitely better to get weapons when you have the actual arena battles completed. Alright, first try. Panicked. It's good. Just a little panicked. I gotta be loose on it. It's the only way I can do it properly. Um... I mean, this these will take a while to upgrade. I really want to chopper upgrade it. It's so close. I'm addicted to the upgrades. I like that they level up and look different. And also, again, I, I like the chopper a lot. I love anything that ricochets. Or, like, bounces. Which might be a hint at another weapon I like in this game. Really had a trouble hitting that one.
Oh god, I am uh, lucky that I didn't accidentally hit that too soon because I almost screwed up. I was too busy looking at one of the other fields that I missed the other one. I think... Yeah, we can play the crane game now. Which I think we can... I thought maybe we can mash a robot. We can mash crates probably, right? No? Okay, just this. And then... I wish there was like a shadow on the crate. Now we can mash robots. I want to kill them all. It would be fun. I think there's a skill point related to killing them like this. I don't know how many, because I think there's a couple of crane sections. Come on, robot. This scrubber is annoying me. And there's one more guy. We did it. But really, we need to use this as a platform. That should be good enough. Do I not have my saw blade? Just trying to shoot him. Didn't quite work out. Oh, there's like a weird scary guy over there. I was able to hit him with saw blades from a distance. Pretty sick. Who needs a sniper when you got saw blades that can just go to distance? Killed him! Well, with all of this nanotech boosting, I better be able to do the other arena challenge. Oh, well, now we have to actually fight him. Seems like he just kind of does a, like, regular shoot thing. He's actually pretty easy to fight, even as is. Who's gonna come out of there? some lame guys. Half of them died because they're in a great room for ricocheting. And that's open now. Every time I screw up that. Yeah, level up. Chopper's now the multi-star. Looks like that electrocutes. Don't have more ammo for it. Maybe I'm just crazy and hoping that there's more. Although I think the Lancer started with 100, didn't it? Uh, I could just blast. I might do that instead of using the turret. Like I said, the turret's real useful in the arena, so that'll definitely get its level ups eventually. I mean, most guns are pretty useful in this. Can I just, no, I gotta, I gotta electrolyze first. I gotta, I gotta, focus, I say as I almost screw up, there I go, focus, you weren't letting me focus, see, easy, all I needed was to focus, give me a break, I remember this, we can actually, I think, magnetize these guys, and we got a laser friend, Weren't there like two? I guess I only saw the one. I like laser friends. So it's a fun little mechanic. This doesn't get used after this point, I'm pretty sure. But they, they had fun with it. I'm not having fun, but this guy's like too fast. I can't laser him. They're all too fast. They're like, I don't want to be lasered. I got the skill point. There's like other laser guys here. There's a bunch of crates. I don't know if this is specifically just for destroying enemies. I think there was a bunch of crates. I, there's not much reason for me to be doing this except that might as well have fun with the scenario. Can I drop you down on that? Yes. I don't know why there's two crates. 
Unless if there's a secret spot here. Can't look at the map. Oh, this is explodey. And scary. I don't like the noise it makes. It's so loud. I feel like there could be a secret spot, so I'm going to kind of look around, but I'll drop it where it needs to be right now. Oh. Did I not open the door? Did I need to use the explodey to open door? I assumed door would have opened once I did the electrolyzer. But I guess that was my bad. It's going to make big noise and scare me. Oh! For a second, I thought it wasn't going to actually explode. So I could totally see there being a different area I'm supposed to, like, drop a crate down. Like, over there. So, let's worry about that. I figured, because there was, like, a blind spot. And just a little too min much in terms of, like, mechanics here. Uh, the good thing is, it doesn't look like I need to actually move the other crate. Looks like I just need to explode this section. I'm hoping that explode it. It doesn't look like it did. I probably should have let it wait. Unless... Alright, the only other thing I can think of, which I'm going to just do, because I'm not sure, is I might need to place the first block down and then get the exploding crates on top of that to fully explode this door. Yeah, because that does not look like that did anything. I think we would have seen some debris from that. So if we take this one... And I mean, it's a good idea still. I, I said I wasn't going to worry too much about Platinum Bolts, but I just meant like I'm not going to scour if I didn't find anything. It's still a good idea to just get them if you know where they are or figure it out, because we have Slim Shady with his weapon modifications. There we go. That's the good stuff. Uh, I don't know if I need to keep this down there, just in case I will. I think I was able to jump up that without... Worrying about the crate, yeah, I would have been able to. Got a little panicked is all. Look at it. We got it. Obviously, there will be more upgrades available to us for other guns later on. Are we, like, I think we're actually... Eh, there's still a bit more left. Never mind. I was gonna say, I think this area is pretty small, but it's a little compact and, like, roundabout. This crane sometimes seems to move slower than usual. I don't know if it's just because there's a... I guess it is just because there's a box on it. I don't like that. Also, there's plenty of times when I really want to do a jack long jump to try to move faster and I have to stop myself oh jeez you guys spooked me surprised I didn't get hit there because I got a little too feisty oh dude you guys weren't supposed to show up first shotgun it goes pretty far I say talking about like video game shotguns. I know shotguns do actually have distance in the real world, but usually that's their like drawback in the video games. So I'm not used to it. There's my boy. Okay. Great. Oh no. Don't move. I'm coming down. Whoa. Ugh, son of I like a how, <laughs> I like how the bad guy just right, buddy. like Let's ran off after that. Again. I pushed you. That's it. You're done now. Didn't want to, like, fill the room with poison gas, maybe? Ah, oh, damn it. I don't know what I was thinking. 
I thought I had more time there. I, I don't know. I, I like that was dumb of me. I even saw it. Like that wasn't an instance where I was like, uh oh, I made a mistake. The final digit of pi is clank. Clank, can you hear me? Clank, your eyelid was kind of weird. Ah, we. Hmm. I must have dozed off. Don't sweat it. Let's just find a way out of here. I believe that air duct may offer our only way out. I thought it was a trash shoe. Oh, just immediate into clank section. So this is basically the same as the ones in the first Ratchet and Clank, except... To glide, jump, then hold X while in midair. We can glide, uh, except that we have, I think, more interesting, like, Pikmin controls. Can't deal with Laser Guy. We have our basic fellas here. To control Microbots, hold Triangle and select a command. Still hold Triangle. A couple of different controls there, though. Wait. F salute. Why aren't you saluting? Fight! Uh, they're just going. I think we... They all seem to be ready to just head towards us, too, so we don't have to go collect them again. But now we have new buddy. acquired. Use it to build bridges across gaps. So now there's like more mechanics to it, which are, you know, fun. I think I prefer this because it's a bit more intricate. Like Bridgebot, I think, is stuck there now. I don't think we can bring him back to us. And we still need to have the attack. So this is just where they teleport back in. And we got Strong Boy over here. Lifter bot acquired. Use it to lift large blocks. Oh, bridge bot can show back up. All right, well that's good to know then. These don't get like too complicated if I remember right, but it's still fun times. I don't know if do you guys still attack like bridge bot and lifter? No, just the little gremlins. Just the gremlins. There's a hammer bot too. I think like the biggest problem I have with these sections is just on replay they're not as fun to do. Alright, and then you guys enter the hole. And I, that probably is just it, right? There's a button. Wait a Easy. Go, Clank. <laughs> Nothing to it. You did great. Now, let's go get that experiment back. So now we just actually have Clank. And I think... Like, we have our helicopter. On this planet. Search other planets for available missions. And we can do our, like, high jump. jump. Hold R1 and press X. But I think if we go into gadgets, we can just switch to thruster pack. So we actually have both of these available to us. I think there is, like, uh, maybe some reason to switch to the helipack. I don't remember when or why, but I think I'm good to with this. Long distances, run, then press R1 Wham! And X at the same time. I think maybe the helipack is better for the long distance to jump. Glide over gaps, press X to jump, oh. and press and hold X while in midair. Well, it's good. We can do six stuff now. And we don't have to do the weird, like, hover strafing that wasn't that great in Ratchet 1. Clank also comes with a thruster pack option. The thruster pack has the same moves as the helipack, except it uses rocket propulsion. To select the thruster pack, go to the gadgets menu and select the icon. I don't know what you're trying to tell me with the rocket propulsion. What does that mean? How does that help me? Help desk lady. Tell me your secrets. Alright, we're good. So we're done here, now we can go do the uh, biker challenge zone. 